Now we're going to try something with a mid-tone stencil. A mid-tone stencil is a three-tone stencil that's designed to be painted on a mid-tone gray surface. Like, a, like for example, this is a mid-tone surface because it's not really dark and it's not really light. Um, so when we make the stencil, we actually make the background with a mid-tone background in it so that when we cut the stencil, we have three layers. Uh, white and a mid-tone and a black. We leave out the mid-tone layer, we cut the black and the white layer, and the mid-tone is the surface itself. So today we have a stencil whose artwork is courtesy of Vensi Valev, who made this really cool image of a flying pig. When we work with a stencil that's larger like this, it's harder to hold it in place with your hands while you paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, masking spray, some tacking spray, down on the surface to hold the stencil to the surface. Now on a half-tone stencil like this, uh, the black is not going to touch the white. The black is going to be separated from the white by the mid-tone, so it's really important to use the registration marks to line up your stencil. See this little square here and this little square right here? Those are two marks that are going to exist in the, both the black and the white stencil, and I'm going to use those to line up the white stencil with the black. We live right next to the park where whenever there's a, a holiday, they fire off cannons or something from this park. Ceremonial cannons, we think. You see how this hole has black through it and this hole has black through it? That's, those are the registration marks and that's what I'm using to line this white stencil up. So on these mid-tone stencils, to me it looks like the, the bridges on the black don't bother me so much and I think I'm just going to leave them, but the bridges on the white are kind of bothering me. So I'm going to eliminate this bridge and I'm going to eliminate this bridge and leave this one so that I don't see so many bridges in the face of the pig because this is the place I really want people to uh, look at. That looks better to me, so the next time I use this stencil. Uh, I won't have to worry about the distracting lines in the white area of the face.